what is marketing for? Well, you might say, well, marketing is to get clients, right? That's what we're doing it for. And of course, it, that's if you do good marketing and you do it consistently, it's a natural result that you get clients. So probably many of you watching this would love to get clients or to build an authentic livelihood, an authentic business, as I like to call it, one where you get to share your your gifts, your sort of your um, en most enjoyed skills and things that you do to get paid doing that, right? Um, part of that is where you get to show up as your most authentically powerful self and people, your clients, your audience appreciate you for your authentically powerful self, okay? So that's all part of what an authentic business, a true livelihood is, right? So marketing can't just be about getting clients or if you do it just to get clients, you will be naturally twisting or corrupting your authentic self because, well, if you follow most of the marketing strategies, they don't feel authentic to you, do they, right? So this is why I started experimenting, exploring years ago with what I like to call authentic marketing. So the way I like to say it is authentic marketing is the process of a business finding its calling, finding its deeper purpose. That's been my definition for years. I'm going to update it now. And I'm going to say authentic marketing is the process and the journey of an authentic business owner, you, the journey of an authentic business owner discovering and expressing their energy signature. So that's the new definition. Again, authentic marketing is the journey of an authentic business owner, you, discovering and expressing your energy signature. All right. Now, the way you actually discover your energy signature is by experimenting with expressing it and noticing the reactions from your ideal audience members and noticing, oh my gosh, when I express myself authentically this way, they really resonate. When I express myself authentically that way, they don't get it. Not yet, anyway. So let me continue experimenting with different ways of expressing myself and noticing of all my authentic expressions, which ones resonate the most with my ideal audience members. Not just random people, okay? Random people, you can post an inspirational quote and resonate with random people, but that's not, I mean, it might be authentic to you, but it's not, uh, it's not really truly authentic. I mean, it's, it's, it's someone else's quote anyway, okay? So energy signature is central to the project, the process, the journey of authentic marketing. And by doing authentic marketing and doing it consistently, you are also, by definition, doing good, effective marketing as well. Because one of the most central parts of good marketing is ethos. I've been recently studying Aristotle's rhetoric triangle, which is the oldest um, method of persuasion and influence um, in the Western world. And Aristotle came up with this or popularized it anyway, and basically said a persuasive communication, in other words, good marketing, shall we say, good marketing, good marketing includes ethos, pathos, and logos, ethos well, let me describe it from the other way. Logos is basically not not your lo not your graphic design logos. Logos in in Greek, I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sure, is logic, reasoning, and sort of like the the central argument of a of a marketing piece, uh, of a piece of content, of an offer. It's like why should they buy this thing? What is it, and why should they buy it? Okay, so why should they believe you if you're sharing a message? So that's that's the logic. That's the central logic, logos. And then there's the pathos, which is 
uh, the resonance with the emotions. And this is where a lot of people think marketing is. It's like, oh, marketing is basically manipulating people through a series of emotions. You first surprise them with something and then you make them feel angry or make them feel fearful and anxious. And then you make them feel oh hopeful because of your product or, or whatever, you know, make them feel doubtful about their, you know, their ability to live a good life. And if you, they don't have the product and you, so you, you make them, you go through some kind of a story arc. Um, pathos is, well, like I said, manipulating the emotions of the audience, right? Um, manipulating or influencing through your storytelling, through your messaging, through the graphics, through this music, through the um your 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 way of communicating and all that stuff so pathos is the emotional part of it and then comes ethos ethos is what i care about the most and it's also what creates the central idea of energy signature and um, authentic marketing so ethos is the credibility and the um yeah, the credibility, it's basically the credibility of you, the business owner, you, the communicator, you, the speaker, the content creator, the person who is selling them the thing, your your credibility and your um, the respect and trust that they have in you, okay? Your audience's trust in you is essentially the ethos and their resonance with you past the emotional manipulation we don't i don't i try not to do that because it doesn't feel right to me um I, I i feel like if you are genuine and powerful with your energy signature you are naturally already resonating with their emotions and and if you tell a story you're being authentic about it and it naturally brings them through a, a story arc an emotional arc okay and if you um, naturally, authentically share your energy signature about your grounded experiences, because you have a lot of experiences in your field, particularly the work that you do with clients, with yourself, your own story, but also with the people you've helped, you have a lot of grounded experiences. If you and a lot of things you've studied, you've got a lot of you know some training, you've read books, you've read articles, you've uh, had conversations, you have. Ex grounded experiences, both in terms of words and, you know, thoughts, but also in terms of actual action experiences of seeing someone being helped, seeing yourself being helped by particular actions and particular behavior changes. You have grounded experiences. If you communicate those grounded experiences with your energy signature, through your energy signature, you are essentially covering all of Aristotle's rhetoric triangle. You're, you're, you're covering your ethos, which is your um, authentic self-expression, okay? You are, ethos also comes from your grounded experience. And from your energy signature comes the natural um, storytelling power that you have. Your energy signature, when it's expressed authentically and powerfully and in service of connection with your audience, because that's what you, like when you show up, like when you're in a conversation with somebody, right? And you're passionate about a topic and you really care about them. Your energy signature is strong. And you naturally in your passionate communication, just as a human being, you'll naturally help them go through a particular story arc. You'll, you'll naturally, the way you communicate um, a thought, an idea, an offer, a story will naturally go through a particular arc because you're a human being and that's how you think and that's how, that's how you think and feel, and that's how they think and feel, and it becomes natural to, to communicate that way. So pathos becomes natural. And then logos, you know, logic, reasoning is also natural because you're talking about your grounded experiences. You're not just making stuff up, okay? You're speaking truth. It could be from your truth, sure, but also the truth of your work with clients, your observations of the world, your observations of what works and doesn't work in the world, so it's not just your personal truth. It's truth that's shared. So a socially shared truth. So you're communicating truth with your heartfelt emotions from your energy signature, your authentic caring and your authentic credibility of you being somebody who has been through it and you're speaking your truth and you're speaking out of love. You're speaking from a, a desire to love the other. 
that is your energy signature amplified. And that is the project of authentic marketing. Isn't that so much more meaningful than, hey, let's do some marketing to get some clients, right? I, I mean, to me, that's not worthy of the soul. Just to get marketing, I'm going to do this marketing that doesn't feel authentic to me, that maybe doesn't even feel aligned with my values because I'm doing certain act activities that, yeah, I probably wouldn't do to friends because they would feel it's weird. They would feel it's salesy. They would feel like it's, what are you doing? We're friends. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you saying, why, why are you talking in that way? <laughs> We're friends here. You see what I mean? Like that uh, mainstream marketing is not worthy of the soul in my experience. Maybe you agree as well. But authentic marketing is. It's worthy of the soul because you are, it's the project of centering yourself, grounding yourself, and then expressing your soul publicly. As regards to your field, obviously you can express your soul in many different ways. You could talk about all kinds of things. But as regards to the work you love doing with clients, you're expressing your soul in that way about on those topics. That is energy signature. That is authentic marketing. And by doing that, you set yourself apart from everybody else. Because you know what everyone else is doing? I mean, if they're following mainstream marketing, they're, of course, getting good arguments and good copy, right? Good, good copywriting. This is, well, if you, if you have these pains and, uh, you know, if you, if, if, if you are this kind of person and dealing with this thing and, you know, then buy my thing and here's the proof of why my thing works. Look at these case studies. Look at these testimonials. Look at, the, look at these uh, arguments of if you don't do this, you're going to feel all this pain in the future or, or whatever. They're using a lot of logic and they're using pathos as well. They're, they're using a lot of emotional manipulation, great graphics, beautiful, gorgeously designed offer website, you know, um, maybe music in the, in the videos, maybe, maybe they're um, telling a particular story, like consciously crafting a story to sell you. That's pathos, right? They have log log logos, they have log, but a lot of people using mainstream marketing don't have the ethos. They don't have the credibility that comes from, you know what? They're reading your website. It's like, I trust this person. I don't know why. They, they will even say, I don't know why. It's not just because they have a PhD or I don't, I don't have a PhD. Most of us watching this don't have a PhD or they're not a doctor this or they're not a, you know, they haven't spent 30 years working on the top, working in, in the field, whatever. It's like, they don't, it's not that they trust you because of your you know, your high degrees and your, you know, decades of experience. Some of you do, and that's wonderful. And you can add that to your ethos, but they trust you because they feel that you really care and that you're trustworthy, that you're trustworthy, that you have sacrificed to really gain grounded understanding of whatever you're talking about. And you really are willing to sacrifice for them. You're willing to sacrifice for your clients. You're sacrificing your energy. You're sacrificing your, I mean, you're willing to uh, not embarrass yourself. I Sometimes I say that but, that, but that's true. I'm willing to embarrass myself in front of you. And that willingness to embarrass myself, to really experiment and share my truth and believing that the truth that I, I share is shared with you. It might not. That's the embarrassment. The embarrassment is when I share my truth and it's not, it's not understandable or shared by others. But the willingness to do that, to really show my heart, that's ethos. And I'm not doing that to manipulate anyone. I'm doing that because I really believe that's meaningful for me. If, I don't, if, I, if I'm not doing things that are meaningful for my soul, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But marketing doesn't have to be the mainstream way. It can be this kind of soulful, authentic marketing that's, that's all about finding and expressing our energy signature. I hope this is helpful. I hope this inspires you to look at marketing and do marketing with more consistency, with more passion, with more truth, because it can be done that way. I hope this helps. And thanks for joining me on this journey.